we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining me today. What a bloody lovely day it is. So yesterday I managed to get quite a lot done. Uh, we've got the concept of the, the big king size bed and uh, anybody that's not been to this channel before, the, the bed, or should I say, the garage is the main part of this van because it's got to fit two monkey bikes in because it is a monkey camper. Um, so it's going to have a bloody big bed with a bloody big garage and a small living area. But I can live with that because for me it's all about getting the monkeys in. I've been to spend an absolute bloody fortune this morning on wood. Oh my God, wood is so bloody expensive. I managed to reuse um, some of the, the ply that was uh, in the van when I bought it. I've been and bought a few sheets of uh, 9 mil ply today just because I want a nice firm finish. I looked at so many different finishes from tongue and groove to just all sorts. Tongue and groove so bloody expensive so that's out the window. So yeah basically I'm with a ply finish top of the bed. I don't know whether I'm going to paint that yet or carpet it. I haven't made my mind up. No expense spared here when it came to um, supply myself with a workbench. Just two old pallets I've now together. But it's done the job for uh, cutting the ply. I did make a purchase of a plunge saw from Lidl. 34 quid I think it was. Probably the best bit of kit I've bought so far. Um, especially when it's come to cutting the ply. Another new bit of kit that uh, <laughs> I bought today. <laughs> because I blew the last one up doing the uh, roof rack. Is a, a new sander. I tell you, this bloody camper is starting to cost me a fortune. Yeah, so we're building the tall arsenal up. <laughs> I now have a plunge saw, now have a decent uh, sander. Still doing pretty much everything else by hand though, uh, when it comes to the big stuff. Uh, but I've got to say, that plunge saw made a big difference when it comes to cutting this ply today. That's for sure. Yeah, if that doesn't hold my fat ass, I don't think anything will. Um, I've obviously got to get some slats on there. Um, strength of the bed frame. Uh, just need sanding, painting now. <laughs> Ticking the jobs off slowly but surely. Yeah, it's starting to come together, I've got to say. I've been at it all day, but like I say, ticking the jobs off. Um, I've got the battens put on the roof now, so I'll probably start doing them. Applied the uh, side walls above the bed. Originally I was going to look at tongue and groove in these, but a tongue and groove is so bloody expensive. I decided not to do that. Um, not sure what I'm going to cover these with yet. Might paint them, might carpet them. I might even put some nice stick on tiles on. Um, could be an idea, but it's a good solid surface. The bed frame clears it, it's good clearance between that and the bed frame. Um, I bought some hinges. Um, everything needs sanding in here now. Um, ready for paint. Um, she's all got to be painted. Still got a bit of trim to finish off over the wheel arches. She is coming together. Um, every time I come out, this this project is just excites me every day. Um, the monkey camper is going to be an amazing thing to have adventures in. Yes, there's not a lot of room for um, the living area from the bed. This is a big garage. Um, and that's purely because I've got to get two monkey bikes in here. Like I keep saying, this is a monkey camper. So big enough for two bikes um, with a double bed. Should be room for a small kitchen, small seating area. So I spent a small fortune today on wood. I really did. I can't believe how expensive wood is. I keep going on about it, but bloody hell, wood is expensive. But I've now got the battens for the roof. Um, I think I'll probably get them on hopefully today. Um, take me into this evening. But that'll be another job ticked off the list.
thank you very much for uh, coming back to us today watching this video most appreciated like i've been saying i'm not here as a tutorial i'm not gonna teach you some gags or tell you how to do this and tell you how to do that i'm finding my own way as it is um and it's all do you know i'm just winging it i'm just um doing bits and seeing where it takes me and and for me that's what it's all about because like i said i'm i'm not a not a diy guru i'm more jack of all trades master of none but i am shattered i gotta say been on it again all day today i'm glad with what i got done obviously all sides are boarded out the roof's batten now that was the last job of the day yeah so i've strengthened the bed and uh that's just got to be sanded and painted now and then put onto the frame and hinged and that's another job for another day <laughs> there's still plenty to do but wise i'm flat out um after this weekend for uh, the next couple of weeks uh with work so i'll be back to doing evenings um and bits and bobs whenever i can do it but like i said i'm enjoying the journey of doing this van um i hope you found some of it interesting uh and you're enjoying following the progress of where it's going to go it's definitely going to take us on some adventures that's for sure so as ever thank you very much if you haven't hit that subscribe button um hit that button hit that big thumbs up helps with the algorithm help us grow and uh we'll catch you on the next one live your best life mm -hmm.